Determine if an ordered pair is a solution to an algebraic equation. Example, determine whether the ordered pair negative 1 comma 6 is a solution of the equation 3x minus y is equal to 5. Here's the analytic solution. We'll take our equation 3x minus y is equal to 5 and we'll replace x with negative 1 and y with 6. Once we simplify and compute the product, we see that on the left hand side we have negative 3 minus 6 and on the right hand side we have 5. Upon simplifying we see that negative 9 is not equal to 5 which is a false statement therefore the ordered pair negative 1 comma 6 is not a solution of the equation 3x minus y is equal to 5. Let's take a look at another example. In this example we'll determine whether the ordered pair 2 comma 1 is a solution of the equation 2x plus 5y is equal to 9. Here's the analytic solution. We'll take our equation 2x plus 5y is equal to 9 and we'll replace x with 2 and y with 1. Once we simplify and compute the products we see that on the left hand side we have 4 plus 5 and on the right hand side we have 9 which results in a true statement 9 is equal to 9 Therefore, the ordered pair 2 comma 1 is a solution of the equation 2x plus 5y is equal to 9. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. Once again, we'll determine whether the ordered pair negative 1 comma 6 is a solution of the equation 3x minus y is equal to 5. In order to do so, we must utilize the test method of our calculator. When using the test method, if a zero is returned, the statement is false. If a one is returned, the statement is true. The test is located above our math button and it's a second, a yellow function. So here's how it works. Let's take three is equal to three. A 1 is returned, therefore 3 equal to 3 is a true statement. 9 is less than 6. A 0 is returned, so 9 is less than 6 is a false statement. In determining whether the ordered pair negative 1 comma 6 is a solution, we'll simply store the value negative 1 for x and we'll store the value 6 for y. So we'll enter our value negative 1, we're going to store that for x and we're going to use a colon. A colon is a green function so it's alpha and decimal point. We'll take the value 6 we're going to store it for y and notice that y is a green function so it's alpha and 1. We'll again enter a colon. We'll now enter our function 3x minus y is equal to, remember equal to is in our test so it's second and math so our first option is equal to 5. A 0 is returned. Therefore, the ordered pair negative 1 comma 6 is not a solution of the equation 3x minus y is equal to 5. Let's take a look at the second example using the calculator solution. We'll determine whether the ordered pair 2 comma 1 is a solution of the equation 2x plus 5y is equal to 9. So here again we'll take the value 2, we'll store it for x, we'll take the value 1 and we'll store it for y. 
So here are the keystrokes. We'll take two, store that for X with a colon. We'll take one, we'll store that for Y. We'll use another colon, and then we'll enter our equation. 2X plus 5Y is equal to so we'll use our test, 9. A 1 is returned, therefore the ordered pair 2 comma 1 is a solution of the equation 2x plus 5y is equal to 9.